Hey guys, so today I'm going to be decluttering my wardrobes a little bit, trying to declutter them. I keep putting this off and I also keep not being able to actually shut my wardrobe doors properly. So that's probably a very good sign that it is about time to sort of get rid of some stuff. Anyway, I thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along whilst I try and declutter these wardrobes. Um, probably just most of this is going to be sort of time-lapse stuff. So the stuff I decide to get rid of I'll either put on my Depop or take to a charity shop. Depends like what state of the item is in. Often if I think the item still has a lot of life left I will put it on my Depop. Um, and if the item is like not much hope left or if it's like a t-shirt or something then I'll just give it to the charity shop. So I found the best way to start a decluttering task is to literally just take it all out, chuck it on the bed and be a bit ruthless and be like yes no, yes no and um, yeah so let's do that. I'm listening to Elton John. <laughs> Oh my gosh, spot, I have so many jumpers. So now I'm going to try and decide which ones I actually wear and which ones I really don't wear and I just shouldn't bother keeping. So I've been a little bit ruthless, but not, I don't know, I feel like I could have still been a bit more. <laughs> but, but this is all to go, and these two are maybe get rid of, not sure. Um, so I'm going to do jackets next, although I don't think I'm going to get rid of that many in there, because that one I often go through and then end up putting it all back in. So I'm going to see how that one goes. clear up these hangers first and then I'm going to move on to this wardrobe which has tops and denim and trousers so this one could be quite interesting. So I've just gone through the tops and got rid of a few things, not much. I don't like to get rid of too much when it's not really in the season for the items because um, I never know that season what I'm gonna like. So I've tried to not touch too much of the t-shirts and everything. Hoodies I struggle with because I don't really wear hoodies all that much. I did get rid of one. I'm gonna do denim which is always the hard one for me because I love my denim so much. I'm gonna put these on the floor to sort through. So this is the denim pile and trousers and skirts. Florence has been very helpful in the denim process, haven't you? Yep. So, Mum, you just don't need all of this. So this is a pile of denim that I'm considering getting rid of. I need to try it all on again and just double check that I don't really want them anymore. And trousers, but I'm very impressed with myself. Although it doesn't kind of look like I got rid of that much, but it's definitely easier to move things around in here now and hopefully the doors shut properly. High five! Yes! <laughs> we did it! I've just emptied out the end wardrobe um, completely and it's kind of insane how much was kept in this one. It is all behind me on the floor. But basically this monkey down here is keeping everyone up at night with her scratching on like anything she can find. Just constantly going like this all night. Oh my goodness. And as you can imagine, that's really annoying. 
and she's a very anxious cat so I thought that maybe if I made a little den for her in one of my wardrobes because she loves going in wardrobes so yeah I thought if I could make her a little den to go in and hopefully if I leave one door open at night she can go in and just hide in there and fingers crossed it will work <laughs> because I don't know what to do otherwise tried those sprays that you can get to stop cat scratching doesn't care about those anymore honestly some of the things we do for you hey do you want a little den yeah there we go that is so much better I've got dresses and coats up in there got rid of a few and got rid of loads of bags and I have a little space spot down there and I'm gonna spray some catnip spray in it so she knows it's her little spot but this is getting quite crazy how much I'm getting rid of now are you gonna try your bed out? can you smell it? Is that nice? <laughs> Today I'm going to be tackling my makeup storage and also organising all the makeup I have because at the moment I have two big acrylic drawers which I never really open and there's so many products in there that I just don't use that I think other people might prefer to use or that are just probably out of date. So that's the plan for this morning. Yesterday I went to Ikea and picked up my new storage system which I'm hoping is going to work okay. I basically picked up eight little pink boxes. They're currently on the floor down here um, but they're just they're just these little plastic boxes and I just fell in love with the colour of them. They were two pounds each. My storage, which is quite good considering how expensive acrylic drawers are. So this is the mess that is my makeup station right now. <laughs> this tends to get quite messy when I get sent new in products and then I just don't know where to put them because I don't have space. Everything's just getting a little bit piggledy piggledy and these drawers are actually quite like old now I've had them for oh god like maybe since I started YouTube which I was 14 so <laughs> a long time I'm now 22 so yeah that's the plan for today I also have this bit up here which is also a mess and I also want to sort this out whereas this is more hair stuff um oops and like hair ties new in body stuff that's going to the bathroom, a fan, and this mirror which my grandma got me for my Christmas, which lights up. It's very useful. So yeah, I'm gonna get started and just sort of, I think I'm gonna lay out different products and decide how many I actually need to keep. There's also hair stuff down here and more makeup in that thing. So I need to get cracking on this really. try and whittle down the products that I actually use <laughs> and put them in the boxes.
not sure what I'm going to do up here. I kind of don't like the brushes showing because I don't really use these ones. Um, so I'm going to get some more of these pink boxes, I think, and fit it under this part. Um, yeah, I still, I also don't know if I want to do a label making label on them or whether that would just make them look a bit too busy. It's a few days on, but I just wanted to show you guys how I settled on my makeup storage. So this part up here, I have my everyday makeup and brushes just in this little Kath Kidson zip open case. I got this at Vista Verge and I think they still have them there. Um, so if you're interested in that, that's where it's from. And then I have my record player underneath that. And then down here I have my mirror and electricals. I'm really liking how clear the surfaces are, so I quite like putting everything away once I've used it. And then this is my makeup storage. I'm so happy with how this has turned out. I'm still undecided on the labels. I do keep forgetting what's in which box, so labels are probably imminent. But yeah, I think they just look really nice and neat in the corner. I also went back and picked up a few more boxes which are down here. I'm not sure about this one on the top, but um, I have quite a lot of new in stuff. Um, so I put it in there for now. And then in the one underneath is all the hair bits that were on um, this one originally. And then along the bottom is just like hair ties, extra brushes, and all that good stuff. So yeah, very happy that my room is nice and organized now makes me feel less anxious <laughs> so that's gonna be it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it um some of the clothes that i got rid of from my wardrobe um are all for sale on pretty much all for sale on my depot now so i will link that down below and yeah i will see you guys all in my next video bye bye <laughs>